everybody. Time for one of my favorite drawings, a dog. I love dogs. All right, so for the dog, here's what we're gonna do first. We are going to start by drawing a line kind of in the middle of our paper coming out like this. So it's not really straight, it's just kind of a curve. Then, kind of over here, we're gonna draw a great big, kind of like an egg shape, an oval. And then next to it, we're gonna draw another oval, but it's gonna be overlapping. Okay, so this one is a little smaller than this one. And guess what these are? His eyeballs. Ooh, there you go, pup. All right, now I'm gonna draw kind of like a circle right here. And then from that circle, I'm gonna draw kind of like a smiley face, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna come out and draw a little line coming like that. And that's the other side of his mouth. And then I'm gonna draw his tongue. And it's just gonna be a big old wet dog tongue that loves to kiss people. Kind of looks like a raindrop. And then I'm gonna draw some detail on that, draw a line coming out. And then I'm gonna draw his chin. Okay, so it's just gonna come down a little bit out, come in, and then here's his little chesty. All right, so what's that look like? Um, uh, it looks like a really fancy letter V or something. If you look at it, like this is the bottom, here's the V. All right, so now I'm gonna drop a line down. And I'm going to come around like this for his paw. And I'm gonna drop another line down for the back of his paw. And then he's gotta have a back paw because dogs have four legs unless they've been in an accident. I have seen some three-legged dogs. Okay, and there's his back paw. All right, now this dog is sitting. So here's how I do the leg, the back leg. I'm gonna do a number two. So here we go, coming up, coming back around, just like that. Number two. Number two. Then I'm gonna continue that number two around like that. And then I'm gonna draw a line kind of diagonal. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for just a little bit and then I'm gonna work back up on top. So up here on his little head, I'm gonna draw another kind of letter N, just kind of a nice half circle. And then I'm gonna come down. This is gonna be his big floppy ear. Oh, this is a cute doggy. And then I'm gonna come up and give it just a little hook over. I love dog ears. They're so fuzzy and sweet. Okay, now this guy, maybe, you know, I could leave it like this and, you know, his other ear would be hanging over there. Or I could make it like he's flapping his head and wagging his tail like he's super excited. I think I'm gonna think about that. All right, so I gotta draw his back. So I'm gonna start right here. 
I'm just going to make a nice line down and here's his little dog butt. And then here's his little tail. Ooh, I'm almost running out of room. Okay, now I need to put some more details on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make his nose be nice and shiny. So I'm gonna leave a little area right here. I suppose some dogs don't have black noses. They have pink noses or gray noses maybe. I'm not sure. Every dog I've ever had has had a black brown. Well, yeah, I had a brown nose dog. He was crazy. Okay, there we go. There's his little black nose. It's shiny because it's all wet because he's excited. All right, and I think I'm going to put some little eyebrows on him here because he's like, I think I'm going to get some kibbles. There we go. And maybe put some little wave lines on here because he's waiting for his treats. Woo, woo -hoo. And he needs some little dog paws. So let's put some lines here. And maybe some lines back here for his little paws. And oh, wouldn't his tongue, I don't know about you, but my dog's tongue is always drippy wet. He's always, oh. I had a neighbor dog that was a bulldog, and he was the slobberiest dog I've ever met. He just, he was so cute. I love dogs, if you can't tell. All right, and you know what? I think I'm going to have this guy be flopping his ears, so I'm going to have a line coming out. And then coming back because he's like, whoa! All right, maybe do a few little lines here. All right, what, is there something here he's wanting? Let's see, how about if he's waiting for his kibbles? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw kind of like a flat circle, like that. All right, then I'm gonna draw two kind of diagonal lines coming out from his flat circle top of his bowl. Here's the sides and now I'm going to match that, surf, that flat circle up. So this flat circle here I'm going to make like another line that matches it down here. And I think I'm going to write my dog's name here. I have a dog that we got from Rescue Lucky. He is like the sweetest thing ever. Alright. And there's nothing in his little dog bowl right now, so he's super excited, waiting. Where is he? Where would his food be? Let's see. Oh, I forgot a line right here. There we go. Um, where would my dog bowl be? Well, I'm thinking he's probably in the kitchen. That's where I feed my dogs. So I'm gonna put a line right here. Okay. And I'm going to put another line right here. All right, because I have some kitchen cabinets. I'm just thinking of what I know. Now maybe, you know, you have something else. Okay, so then maybe, maybe there's some cabinets behind him. All right. Just draw it doors like to a cabinet. Just to give a sense of um, where the heck is this little guy? All right, there we go. That's pretty exciting. Is he not, now my dog Lucky, he's really spoiled and he has like a dinner mat that he sits on. So I think I'm gonna draw that because he'll wait there. He'll like be there saying, hey, hey, it's dinner time. Where's my kibble? Make that look a little thick. There we go. Now he's definitely in a place. Oh my gosh, I love him. He's so cute. 
All right, remember, if you draw this a few times, you're gonna get better at it each time. Okay, good job drawing. We need to do some cats for the cat people. <laughs>